Presidential election. Why LP, PDP shouldn't panic over INEX objections, F. Young. A legal practitioner and social critic, Inibehe F. Young, has urged people not to panic over objections to admissibility of documents by the INEC, by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, at the ongoing hearings at the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, saying it is a distraction. F. Young claimed that the objected documents by the INEC were duly certified, adding that the court will act on them. In a post via his verified Twitter handle on Thursday, the legal expert claimed that the Electoral Commission's neutrality is a mirage, especially in electoral litigations. He alleged that INEC had basically aligned its defense strategy with other respondents, including the All Progressives Congress, APC. He wrote, People should not panic over objections to admissibility of documents by INEC at the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal. I'm not surprised by INEC's roguish and embarrassing attitude. These are public documents, duly certified. The courts will act on them. It is a distraction. Ordinarily, INEC being the maker of the documents which they have certified that is from EC8 series, polling units and collation results. They are not supposed to object their admissibility. I've always said that INEX neutrality is a mirage, especially in electoral litigations. The documents have been admitted, though the respondents who state the grounds for their objections in their final addresses. Typically, the tribunal will look into the documents and act on them. As long as the documents have been duly certified, there's no cause for alarm. INEC has basically aligned their defense strategy with the other respondents, Tinubu, APC and Shetima. They're walking in sync as they always do. As one comment said, Thief, is it PDP or Labour that should give INEC documents or INEC give them documents? As another person said, This one is another big bone on INEC and APC neck. Ah, wow. Another person has said, We've kept our fingers crossed looking unto God for justice. Well, these people, the people have a lot of different opinions about this and another person has agreed saying you are right and another person has also agreed with them saying F. Young, I um, absolutely agree with you. If INEC did no wrong, INEC would not be objecting. The question to the judges is, what is INEC and the legal team hiding from Nigerians? Why the objections? Wow. Another person said, nice one. All of you should keep on walking in futility. Nigeria has moved on. The owner of the mandate is using it judiciously now. While court has opened up, how Obi's legal team is wasting there. You should just go home and register it against 2027. If at all you be given an opportunity, I'm rest assured that by 2027, you will have your ambition of becoming Nigeria's president overturned by chain of events. Another person has said, where did you see the proof when INEC didn't provide any things, anything second and third position fighting for mandates? Ask your supporter or person, Joe, 
will tell you can't win the case because Buhari did the same thing then with Obasanjo. Nothing came out. Ubi is just like Man City and Leeds United have matched. We want to see who will win. Obi and Atiku can't see my draw. Mark my word. Wow. It seems like a lot of people are agreeing with F. Young and some of them do not agree. As one other comment says, my brother F. Young, my only fears are that nothing of a good judgment will come from the courts. The system is already viciously corrupt. The courts in Nigeria are owned by APC and Tinubu. Wow. And not too many different people are exploring and expressing their opinions on it. Some, some people are agreeing with him, but it seems like there are quite a lot of people that do not know how to react and do not agree with F. Young. Another person said, We know fully well that no individual thief that is caught stealing that has ever pleaded guilty, but the law will surely give him or her the true name at the end of the day. There's no cause for alarm. The stolen mandates must be reclaimed for new Nigeria to be given birth into good faith. Well, it seems like different people are giving uh, analogies and they are all having different opinions about this. But it seems like there are like quite a lot of people that do not agree. I mean, a lot of people that agree with Ephiel. Well, let me know what your opinion is about this in the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to share this video with your friends so that they can know more about